Hi, everybody. This is Jack Eason with TrumpRepublican.News. 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 Go to the website. That's TrumpRepublican.News. And this is Jack Eason reporting. Interesting. About an hour ago, I had a headline hit me. Trump hosts evangelicals to celebrate faith and freedom. And this was uh, on Tuesday, August 28th in Washington, D.C. Some 100 evangelicals, including Southern Baptists, attended a White House dinner August 27th to celebrate what President Trump called America's heritage of faith, family, and freedom. The event included remarks by President Trump, prayer, and an opportunity for attendees to reflect publicly on the Trump administration. Vice President Mike Pence also was in attendance, and among the Southern Baptist attendees were Southern Baptist Convention President J.D. Greer, former SBC Presidents Ronnie Floyd and Jack Graham, and former SBC, that's Southern Baptist Convention for you, Second Vice President Malachi O'Brien. Well, they had quite a sharing of information as they were having a meal there in the White House. But some of the quotes that came out of it from the Southern Baptists are, you know, rather interesting. Witness in the public square requires some presence in it, but I'm just as committed to decoupling the church from partisan politics and my desire for the Southern Baptist Convention, what's left of it anyway, promoting a culture in which the gospel is above all. Okay, that's what Greer said. He's the head of it. And, you know, he's doing separation, church of state, and all of that kind of thing. Well, there was a Bible presented to Trump by Florida Pastor Paula White, signed by some of the attendees, and it was inscribed, History will record the greatness that you have brought for generations. Well, there were some other notables that were there. President of Liberty University, Jerry Falwell Jr., this is the son, not the father, that started the whole moral majority thing back in Reagan era because he's passed away. This is Jerry Falwell Jr. He's president of of Liberty University and Jonathan Falwell. He's the pastor of Thomas Road Baptist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. And there are many other notables, but I want to say one thing about uh, Jerry Falwell Jr. He's also producing a movie through Liberty University called The Trump prophecies. Now, this has to do with the retired firefighter, Mark Taylor, and a message he received from God back in 2011 that Donald Trump was going to be president of the United States. And uh, Mark has said many times that, uh, you know, that was the message he received back then. And lo and behold, look at 2016, one by one, All the other primary people got taken out, and Donald Trump was the only one left standing. Now, I know Mark Taylor and many, many others consider President Donald Trump to be anointed by God. Well, all you have to do is look at the facts and the evidence. Everybody that comes up against him seems to get knocked down very well. And that's a historical thing in the Bible of God's anointed doing things. Well, anyway, good luck to you, Jerry Falwell Jr., Mark Taylor, and everyone involved in uh, the movie that's coming out, The Trump Prophecies, based on the book. And that should be a good show. That should happen around October 6th or October 7th of this year, before the midterms. So prepare to go out and see a good uh, movie. It's, it'll be clean cut for a change. And, you know, Donald Trump, during this meeting with evangelicals, said, Every day we're standing for religious believers because we know that faith and family, not government and bureaucracy, are the center of American life. And we know that freedom is a gift from our creator. Wow, what a president to be able to say that. You know, Donald Trump is a leader. All the other side, the left, everything they say, the one thing they cannot say is he's not a leader. There are so many people that appreciate his leadership. He's changing the world as we know it. Brexit, I think that was inspired by President Trump. All the other changes that are happening across the globe, 
are, it's based on and or inspired by the leadership of President Donald Trump. You know, for a long time, this country has had very weak people leading it. Not, not just the presidents, but all the way across the board. But Donald Trump is a strong guy in terms of leadership. And I think everybody admits that. I know all the Trump supporters I come in contact with say, yeah, he is a leader. And he's leading us on foreign policy, on immigration, on our economy, which is really going gangbusters right now. And well, a lot of the leaders that are involved in the evangelical movement, I think they, you know, give a nod to President Donald Trump for what he's doing and for his great faith in family and freedom. Well, as President Trump likes to say, keep moving forward. Never, ever give up. God bless everybody. <laughs> <laughs>